Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a little declutter of my makeup. Now, I don't have excessive amounts, but I do feel like I have a lot and it's starting to get on top of me, so I need to just go through it all. The things that I'm not using, I need to get rid of, and things that are running low, I just want to use them up instead of just having them sitting in my drawers. If you like the sound of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. I have a whole playlist dedicated to my beauty room with tours and makeup organization, so I'll link that down below if you want to see more. By the way, my fiance is outside gurneying the concrete, so if you hear some noise, that's what it is. Okay, I'm just going to go through my drawers one by one. I'll talk through the products and let you know my thought process. All right, so this drawer, I have some lashes, beauty blenders, tools, things like that. I've got all these lashes that I got off Shop Miss A a long time ago. I like to keep them for when people need to borrow, not borrow lashes, but they want to use a pair of lashes. These are good because they're pretty cheap. <laughs> now these lashes are from Kmart and I actually had high hopes for them because they look really nice, but I really, really struggled to get them on. The band just wasn't flexible enough. I think I'll get rid of this style, but I might keep this style because they remind me a lot of these ones here by House of Lashes. So I'll keep one. <laughs> Um, all right, these ones are by Glam by Manicare. You can just pick them up from Chemist Warehouse. So I've got a few pairs here. I've worn them a bunch of times. These ones are just a bit too thick for me, so I might get rid of those. And then down the back here, I've just got sponges that I use and lash glue. So I think that's it for this drawer. This drawer has a lot of work. Oh my God, it's hard to even know where to start. Okay. I haven't used this for so long. It's the LA Girl Green Concealer, so that can go. As I go back down the primers, I can see ones that I do use a lot. Down the back here, what have we got? I think I'll get rid of these two. I've got the Max Factor Face Finity. And then I've also got this one, a Maybelline Superstay. I never reach for them, so. So you light up. All right, and then this row here is concealers. I know I have a few in here that I want to just use up. Here we go. So these ColourPop ones here. Now I've got some here that are pretty old and they were like the old fair shades before they did that bigger release. You can see here that this one's even separated. So that needs to go. Same with that one. This shade here, Fair 08. I've only got a tiny bit left, so I'm going to use the rest of that up. And then what have I got here? Fair 04 and Fair 02. I think I'll try and use up the rest of Fair 04 as well, because I know I've got a backup in my little backup basket. All those concealers can stay. What have I got here? The e.l.f. camouflage, I like that. My Maybelline Fit Me's. Major Wines can stay. I've got this Maybelline Master Conceal. It's like full. I wonder if I should use it or give it away. I'll try it one time, see if I like it, and then I'll make a decision, because I can't remember. And then I bought this Makeup Revolution Pro Full Cover Concealer, because I thought it might be a good eye base, but it is just not a very nice formula. So that can go. I've got a few high-end ones here. I know this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer is nearly empty, so I'll finish that one up. And then I've got these NARS concealers in vanilla and Chantilly. These are also on the brink of being empty, so I'll use those up. All right, I've got a few foundations here. The Essence one and this Makeup Revolution one actually have really good coverage, but they only last maybe like five-ish hours on me. So I think I'll still keep them because I like them if I'm gonna run errands or things like that. And then this Revolution um, Stick Foundation, I wasn't the biggest fan of, but I did end up using a lot of it. There's only a little, little bit left. Like that's all it winds up. So I might just get rid of that one. This is one of my favorite combos ever. It's the Maybelline Superstay in 120 Ivory, which is the lightest shade in Australia. And the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. So I am almost done with this one. So I'll just make a mental note to 
keep using that to get rid of it. I've got two of the NYX Total Control Drop Foundations here. This one is pretty much empty. And there's a tiny bit of this one left, so I'll use that up. This Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, I can't really remember what it was like, but there's only about this much left, so I might just quickly get through that. Here I've got three Rimmel foundations. This one used to be my bloody ride or die. Oh my God. I've only got a little bit left. I might try it out again because I haven't used it in so long. These foundations are both quite nice, more of a medium coverage. They are very pink undertoned though. And I think this is the old formula. I think they've reformulated this one too. Look, I might just get through these as well. <laughs> And then here I've got a Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I've never used this, it's way too dark to me, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. All right, well, it may not look like it, but that drawer is looking a bit emptier. I wear foundation to work every day as well, so I'll definitely be able to get through these foundations in like a month, I reckon. <laughs> All right, this next drawer contains my highlighters and my bronzers. I don't think there'll be much in here that I'll get rid of to be honest. <laughs> um, let's have a quick look. All right, this one here, the Tarte, Tarteist, Tartist Pro to, wow. Tarte Tartist Pro Glow to Go palette. I really haven't touched this in so long. I think I might just get rid of it. This little Rimmel palette comes with three bronzers. I've never used this shade. And look, I'm not really reaching for these, so I may as well get rid of it. This one though I'm going to keep because I like to reference it when it comes to choosing a bronzer for fair skin because as you can see you've got like a really warm orange tone, a little bit cooler and then the coolest so it's good for referencing. I think I'll get rid of this Revolution Sun Kiss highlighter as well. It's not really anything that special and I don't reach for it so see you later man. I've got these two Rimmel Insta Strobing Highlighters. This one is more of a pinky tone, so I might keep this, but this one is called Gold Glow. I don't know why I even have that. Yeah, it's just a bit too golden for my complexion, so that one can go. And I might actually put this down in this drawer because this is something that I would mix into my foundation, so it can go down here. This next drawer here just has a few face powders and blushes. Look. Mm. There is a lot in here that needs to go. This NYX blush I've had for so long. I never use it. See you later. This is a blush that I used in my Kmart makeup video. It's actually a really nice shade. I might test this out and see if I like it. This Flower Beauty blush, I thought I got rid of this, but it's still sitting here, so... Hmm. I'm pretty sure I didn't like it because it was a bit patchy. I might give that another test out and see. Love my Milani, love the Too Faced ones. I've got another one of these Rimmel palettes that is just blush. Something I don't really reach for, so that can go. This powder by Miraness I've had for so long. I don't think I've ever used it. Invisible HD Blotting. That can go. The Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. I don't think I like this one, that can go. The rest of the powders I like, so there we go. Now this drawer here, this one's a mess. I've got setting sprays, eyeliners, mascaras, and brows. And they need a good clean. <laughs> here I've got a blue mascara that, let's be real, I'm never gonna use. And this is a Rimmel Magnifies shadow thing, I'm never gonna use that, that can go. Uh, MAC Fix Plus, I love it. And I actually have another one that has like two sprays left, so I'll quickly use the rest of that. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got rid of this in a video, but then someone commented saying I should keep it for like a body shimmer because I didn't like it on my face because it was too shimmery. So that's why I kept that one. This here is one of my all-time favorite setting sprays, the Insta Fix and Go by Rimmel. There's a tiny bit left, so I'll use the rest of this one up. Here I've got the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I was really excited for this one because I thought it would give me that dewy look I was after, but still be able to have my full coverage, long-lasting foundation. But I just, I don't know, I didn't like it. I found that 
it wasn't really giving me what I wanted. So I might use this one more time, see how it goes, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of it. This is my new favorite setting spray if I want a little bit of a glow to my skin, the L'Oreal Shake and Glow, so I'll definitely be keeping that one. And then here I've got the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray, and I've actually nearly used all of that too, so I might quickly use that up. It was all right, I probably wouldn't buy it again though. So I've left all my like brown and black nude eyeliners in here and also my liquid liners. And then in this little cup, I've got all my colorful liners. For the mascaras, I'll be getting rid of the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. This one just isn't coming out of the tube correct anymore. Like it's really clumpy and something just isn't right. So that needs to go. Now the brow pile. Oh my God, I don't know how this become this bad. Right, brow gels, they go back here. So I'll put all my faves in there. These two here by Rimmel I'm going to get rid of. I've got a clear gel and a tinted one. I don't really like these ones because they have really, really thick ones and they just get really clumpy. I did see that Rimmel released a new brow gel and it does have a really tiny one. So I'm going to pick that up in the next Priceline sale. And then here I have a little mini gimme brow with I think a little bit left. So I'll put this in my to use up pile. This here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. This is the very first high-end product I ever bought. So I'm going to keep that one. Here I have the ColourPop Blondie Brow Pomade. That's actually a really nice shade. And then the Makeup Revolution one, I did really love, but look, I think it's past its use by date. That can go. And then here is the Benefit Cabrow. Now, oh, ow. Now, I really wanted to love this one, but my formula was just so, so dry. I don't know. Oh my God. I'll put it in my to try pile. I'll give it another go and then make a decision. All right, and then I've got some brow pencils. The MAC Shape and Shade. I'm pretty sure I'm nearly out of this, so in the to use pile. Urban Decay Brow Blade, I love. The Benefit Goof Proof. Again, one that I just wasn't that big of a fan of. Here I've got the, oh my God, Rimmel. Oh yeah, I don't think I liked this one because it was really waxy. There's only a tiny bit left, so I'll just get rid of that. Um, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Now I have two of these and one is the wrong shade. Blonde and taupe i think taupe was the correct shade yeah blonde was just really really warm so i'll get rid of that rimmel brow this way oh this had like some stupid what the hell it's like a powder that never really worked for me that can go love the maybelline brow temptation this is the designer brands feather pen that actually worked quite well so i'll keep that here is one by kmart I think that was actually quite nice. I might keep that. And then this L'Oreal one I've been using recently. Oh, actually I'll keep this one because it's a bit darker and when I get my brows tinted, they're usually a bit dark at first, so. How much neater is that? Oh my God, that looks so much better. All right, so this is everything that I'm getting rid of or I'm going to use up. How good is that? Oh my God, I'm quite proud of myself. Look at it all. All right, so I've just sat everything in this little organizer that I want to use up or try again. So I've got my setting sprays here, the concealers, the blushes I wanna try again, and the brow product. Um, all these foundations I want to get through. So this is right in front of me every day when I'm doing my makeup so I can get through it all. And then again, here is the pile of stuff I'm getting rid of and a bit of stuff here as well. All right, well, that is everything for me today, guys. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. I will have that linked down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Wispies are... 
Why isn't this focusing? It's really shitting me off. Wow, if this thing doesn't start focusing, you can see, oh my God. Ow. But there's about this much, oh, for God's sake. 